Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a look at the cards my collaborators created using the August 2021 sheet load of cards. This is one of my favorite videos each month and I hope you'll stick around and find out why. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is one of my favorite videos to share with you each month. My team of collaborators makes me look so good and I know that after you watch this video and see how most of them made it their own and little ways they changed it up, you're going to agree. You might have already noticed one of those sets in the thumbnail of this video. The featured set this month is from Lisa, aka at Scrapbook Girl over on Instagram. Now, as always, all of my collaborators' links are in the description box below, so you can go to their YouTube channels, their blogs, or their Instagram accounts and get more information on any of the cards you see, as well as be inspired by the other items that they share. Usually, I would have my set of cards that I made in front of me here, but I did go ahead and already send those out to channel members and subscribers, so I will pop a look at those up on screen now. Now, if you would ever like to show us your sheet load or share what you have created, there are three different ways you can do that here on YouTube, over on Instagram, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I will have the show us your sheet load guidelines video linked in that description box below so you can find out more. Now, after seeing all these beautiful cards today, if you haven't already downloaded the August 2021 sheet load of cards and you want to, I will have a link to the debut video, which tells you how to download the file, as well as my process video in the description box below. This is free for subscribers. Let's go ahead and see what the team created this month. Before we get to those cards, I do have a couple special channel member shout outs. I would like to say a great big welcome and thank you to my latest paper trimmer level members, the Deanne Horsin Around with Crafts and Rachel Fancy Schofield. Thank you so much ladies for joining. And as always, thank you to all of the channel members who support me each month. And if you're interested in the perks of membership, I do have a link in the description box below. And now let's get to those cards. First up today is Karen Aiken of the YouTube team, and I am absolutely loving these bright colors for her birthday cards this month, and those cute little smiley faces over the sentiment. Toby of the Biddy Penny channel has customized her set this month with this photo of her adorable children. What a great way to just brighten somebody's day, not only with a card, but with an awesome photo as well. Creative Chelsea shared these cool cards over on her YouTube channel. I am loving those focal points, especially with those little reindeer antlers, and how her shape behind that is different than an oval. Once again, use what you have. Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts realized that her stash was lacking in new baby cards, so that's what she used the August 2021 edition to create. You'll see she did half in blue and half in pink, and they were all adorable. Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa made these beautiful, brightly colored cards. I have something with lemons, so this was right up my alley. I love all of the different pieces she used for her focal point and the layering on there. 
Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia shared these cards over on her channel and this month she shared how she colored those images and let me tell you I'm not really into coloring but I think it's something I could definitely do and I am going to give it a try. Make sure to check out her video in the description box below if you want to see how she colored those. Debbie of Project 39 Mini Albums also created a set of birthday cards this month and it's hard to see from the photo but she has added some crystal effects and highlights to those balloons. If you watch her video you'll get a better look at those. First up on the Instagram team today is Liz of at Lizzie's Happy Mail and she has used primary colors to create these fun cards. Now I think even if you're a little scared of clowns, you're going to think this little guy is adorable too. Jessica, aka at Jessie Kate Creates, created a set of Christmas cards using this month's layout. And look at those focal points. Those are actually some large gift tags. What a great way to incorporate those into cards that you send out. Now here's a close-up look at Lisa's cards, which once again, she is at Scrapbook Girl on Instagram and is featured in this month's thumbnail. But she has used these, they almost look like storybook characters on the front of her cards. They are just so adorable. Moriah, who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs, instead of using an oval focal point with a strip sentiment, she has replaced those with a very fun butterfly die cut and that floral embellishment in the center. Stacy, who is at Craftaholic Mama, has used this beautiful collection for her cards today. I just love those adorable focal points and how she has changed the layout some by moving it to the left or right of center and changing up where her sentiment is. Pam of the Airborne Wife Stamping Blog has created the eight cards in front of you. I am loving how she replaced the oval with that awesome tree die cut. I love the layered effect in that and the different dimension and texture that gives. Sandy of the Stamp with Sandy blog changed the layout up a little bit as well. You'll notice the strip that goes left to right across the center has been shifted down and she has moved some of her sentiments off to the right side. Do you know now why this is one of my favorites? I just absolutely love seeing those individually on the second of each month and then all together for this video. If you did enjoy today's video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now I hope you'll go visit all of those collaborator links in that description box below and leave them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.